The Texans had a tremendous day one of free agency. This is now day two, and the progress continues. Nick Casario is back at it again, guys, with a lot more signings. Cue the intro. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new episode of The Lead. Your host, as always, Harley Dugan. So day two of free agency is pretty much in wraps right now, barring any other extra signings. Yes, this is a late video, but I got to get it out for the content. Day two of free agency, Texas fans. What do we get? There is a got a few guys coming back. Got a few new faces again. The guys coming back, though, first, AJ Moore. OK, cool. P.J. Hall, no problem with that. And Farrell Brown, no problem with that either. A.J. Moore's a really good special teams guy. Uh, when he stepped in at the safety position, eh, you know, suspect sometimes and other times he looked decent. Uh, but again, really good special teams guy. P.J. Hall, P.J. Hall looked really solid for the Houston Texans in his small amount of time here. Hopefully he can do the same thing. He's going to go back to a 4-3 DT scheme. So, Let's see what happens. And next, you got Farrell Brown, who is a very physical tight end. He's athletic as well, too. You know, he's 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, big old dude. And what I loved about him was that extra effort. So, again, bringing back all three of these guys, no problem. Then we move into who did the Texans sign because we're not done. We're not finished yet. Unfinished business, Nick Casario has been doing day two with the Houston Texans. And we start off with Kevin Pierre-Lewis, two years, $8 million deal. He's a linebacker that played for the Washington football team and was very solid. The guy is going to take over as your Sam linebacker. The guy is really good in coverage. He's extremely athletic, good size. He's going to be your starting Sam linebacker with Christian Kirksey. And then you're going to have Zach Cunningham at the well. I referenced last night's video. I said, you know, Gruyere Hill, and I hope I said that right, was going to be the Sam linebacker. This time, uh-uh. Kevin Pierre-Lewis lays the boom. He's a really good coverage guy and knows his spots, has really good awareness for the linebacker position. Can't wait to see what he can do. Kirksey in the middle. And then you got Zach Cunningham being your will linebacker. Next, you got a guy in Derek Rivers who's an outside linebacker slash D end. He's going to be a defensive end in this 4-3 scheme, guy that could put his hand in the dirt and go. He's still a young defensive end, 6'5", 250. You signed him for a one-year, $3 million deal. And, you know, I don't know what you're going to get much out of him. He was a third-round pick for the New England Patriots, so he's reuniting with Nick Casario and Jack Easterby. And so – uh, I mean, I don't know really what to expect from him. He was with the Rams, and I, I don't know. I, I want to see what Derrick Rivers is and what he can do. I, again, preseason is really going to help with all these guys and other players as well. I can't wait to watch the preseason for the Texans. I wish they were featured on Hard Knocks, okay, because I'm very – in tune with what players are going where and how are they going to be used, different things, really like all of these guys that Casario's bringing in. But next on the list is someone the fans have been wanting. We have been pleading for a few years to bring Tyrod Taylor to the H. And guess what, boys? Big Nick Casario slinging that thing brings Tyrod Taylor to H-Town one year a deal up to 12 million because it's very incentive based. His base salary is basically $6 million. So Tyrod Taylor is perfect for the Houston Texans, whether or not Deshaun sits, whether he starts, or whether you have a rookie quarterback starting. We all know Tyrod Taylor is extremely athletic, can get the job done, and fits the scheme of a mobile quarterback that we have in Deshaun Watson. This is a huge win for the Houston Texans. And then last but not least, Terrence Mitchell, physical cornerback, two years, seven and a half million dollars. Terrence Mitchell, if he did not see the GOAT Patrick Storm Twitter account, he posted what I thought was absolutely 
awesome in Terrence Mitchell. He did have 13 pass breakups, but he also, you know, had a few, about 13 touchdowns, I believe, or I could be wrong on that, uh, on him as well. So he's a little bit of a boom or bust type of corner. But give me a guy that's physical, that's a brute, that doesn't give a damn, and will get in your face. He is a dirty type of cornerback, and I am all for it with the Houston Texans. It has been, I don't know when, since we had a cornerback that is this physical. The dude was hella physical with Jarvis Landry in the Hard Knocks episode, and it was just amazing to see that and him getting into fights. And look, I'm not condoning, hey, to fight on every play, but I love the physicality, and I love what I saw from Terrence Mitchell. Overall, all these signings, again, Nick Casario is hitting it out of the park. I say the grade for day two is right at an 85. Yesterday's video, 82 with the day one. Day two, getting the additions of Tyrod Taylor, Kevin Pierre-Lewis, and Terrence Mitchell. Again, all of these guys, they're not that splashy name, but they're very solid bring them in here, and have an open competition for the Houston Texans. Don't let these guys be comfortable and keep these jobs. No, 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 no. Have an open competition, and let's see these guys work. I cannot wait to see what the Texans got in store. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notice to turn on. Drop your comments, your reactions down below in the comment section. I know y'all are hyped just as much as me. I am really stoked, hyped, excited, whatever else you want to say. I am. I'm, I'm just blown away right now because of the competency we have at GM for the first time ever in Texans history with Nick Casario. As always, guys. Go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. Y'all have a blessed night.